So I want to take a few minutes with this video to go over two very interesting topics. One focused on the PS5 SSD once more, but this time around the developer states that they'll be working the PS5 SSD hard and taking full advantage of it for their massive world setting. We'll also look at new information surrounding the rumored next Uncharted game that won't be made by Naughty Dog. First, let me know if you see yourself upgrading your SSD storage for the PlayStation 5. I'll be upgrading myself to add maybe another terabyte of fast SSD storage, tallying my total storage at that point close to 2 terabytes, but others might not feel the need to have that much space, which makes sense. I probably don't need that much space, but I'm curious where you guys land on this topic, so comment below. If you plan on upgrading your PS5 storage space later this year or whenever that's available, let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, the next Uncharted game. I've seen some people wondering what the next Uncharted game would be. Will it be Lost Legacy 2? Will it be another mainline game such as Uncharted 5? Will it be a new series focused on Nathan Drake's daughter, Cassie Drake? We honestly don't really know at this point. I however have heard a rumor not too long ago which isn't the focus of today's new update on the topic but I thought I'd share it here. The rumor was that the next Uncharted game would focus on a new story with Sully and Chloe. Lost Legacy was Chloe, Sam, and Nadine as we all know and while I did enjoy it, it doesn't stack up to Nathan and Sully's adventures for me personally but I would take a Chloe and Sully adventure, that sounds fun to me personally. Regardless, that's still a rumor but I just wanted to add it to this video but the story today revolves around the next Uncharted game not being made by Naughty Dog again. To quickly catch you up on the gist of the origin story, a PlayStation job listing back in 2018 for a gameplay engineer stated that Sony is building a new studio in partnership with Sony's visual arts service group who specialize in motion capture and have worked with many of Sony's first party studios studios like Sony Santa Monica with 2018's God of War. So this group has been hiring Naughty Dog talent and with PlayStation job listings stating things like we are looking for a highly talented, motivated, and creative lead character artist for the next chapter of cinematic storytelling. And are you an experienced game developer with a penchant for high quality third person action adventure games? This has left people to believe a new Uncharted game is in the works and this new unannounced studio could be the ones working on it. So. The main point here is a new studio in San Diego is being built off the Visual Arts Service Group and that studio could be working on a new Uncharted game. Now, in terms of the latest news, just to add more flame to this Uncharted fire rumor once more, Naughty Dog environment artist Zach Oliver, who just recently finished his work on The Last of Us Part 2, has moved over to the Visual Arts Service Group as a senior environment artist. He has been working with Naughty Dog for nearly 9 years and has worked on Last of Us 1, 2, Uncharted 4, and Lost Legacy. We'll see what comes of this, of course, we could hear something in the near future when they finally decide to announce or fully announce this new studio working on this new game, which is probably a PlayStation 5 game at this point. But you guys let me know if you would want another Uncharted game. I'm personally down for another one if it's the Chloe Sully story. But what about you guys? Are you down for another Uncharted game? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the second story of the video, the PS5's SSD. And no, this isn't about how much praise it's getting from another developer, but rather a developer mentioning how hard they're going to be working the SSD because of their massive setting. Hearing this comment is exciting because of the big benefits of being able to load data at such high speeds, allowing you to create these far draw distances, and considering you're only loading what you're looking at, this allows you to load views with high detail. The developer is data like entertainment and the game is Lord of the Rings Gullum. 
The Gollum story follows Gollum's journey in between the events of The Hobbit and Fellowship of the Ring, so basically a bridge between both of those franchises. In terms of what the developer stated, I'm going to read a section from the official PlayStation UK magazine's covering of the game. Reading the section, Fisher identifies how the shapes in classic fantasy illustration tend to be vertical. Trees can look like stoic pillars. It's this verticality that has been the most influential on Gollum's world. You begin the game as a prisoner in Sauron's fortress in Mordor, and this architectural choice makes the space feel more oppressive. This massive setting will take full advantage of Next Gen Tech 2. The developer has gone on record to reach that designers don't have to chop up their expensive environments with well-placed loading corridors anymore, PS5's SSD is going to be worked hard. So there's two points here, the fact that they don't have to chop the game up for loading sections and the PS5 SSD being worked hard. Also to give a bit of context, the person mentioned at the beginning is Matthias Fisher, who's the art director at Datalik Entertainment. But getting back to the point, the loading section part we've covered many times at this point, which is basically the fact that they don't have to make these little sections where the player is deliberately slowed down to let the game world load. But the more interesting part is working the PS5 SSD hard. If this is true... I wonder what benefits it'll have over the Series X since this game is also coming to Xbox. If they are working the PS5 SSD hard as they claim, wouldn't that mean they're using it to its full potential which is double what Microsoft's platform is offering? I guess in that case we'll see in time when the game finally comes out next year. I'm excited for this game and have been since its announcement and hearing it'll have a massive setting makes it sound more intriguing. I just hope it's not too massive where I'm just walking around for half the game. But you guys let me know if you think the PS5 SSD will show its benefits with this game or not considering it's a multi-platform game. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is the body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with give me my precious. Obviously, this is a reference to Gollum and Lord of the Rings, but also the PlayStation 5 is our <laughs> Precious. So if you're excited for the PlayStation 5, destroy the comment section with give me my precious and I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now I'll check you guys out on the next one.